Hello and welcome back to Rise of Flight for the next installment of my Rise of Flight Let's Play. Today is the 28th of September 1915, so 104 years ago, and we're going to be flying as Albert Parry, the second time we've flown as our British pilot, member of uh, number 5 squadron I think it was. The gallant Captain Pike was shot down in mortal combat and was buried in a churchyard behind our lines with full military honours. So that was the real message that was dropped across the lines by the Germans after they had shot down Captain uh, Robert Maxwell Pike, I think it was, who was flying a DH-2 uh, in our little campaign we made. It was us flying as Otto Spiegler who actually brought him down. Um, but uh, I couldn't find the identity of the actual German pilot who did it. Let's read the diary entry here. The mood in the camp has been somber of late. Robert's death has hit us hard. We've barely had a chance to mourn though, as the higher-ups have been giving us a thorough grilling over the loss of our new aircraft. With so little time in the field, there is precious little they can learn from the prototype, and it might even delay the rollout of the aircraft. Not to mention the possibility that the Germans may even have a functional copy of the plane before we do, and ample time to learn everything there is to know about it. Still, we cannot sit about uh, uh, now as there is a new offensive underway. Strategic command urgently requires air reconnaissance of hostile forces, and today I'm setting out across the lines to do a little sightseeing. Us and number 6 squadron are both equipped with fees, though uh, for now we are still using the FE-2As until the techs have finished setting up the new planes that we recently received. This has been our main bird for most of our flying uh, this year, so hopefully this will be a routine flight. So we are flying from a small airfield just here. It doesn't actually pop up on the map, and we're going to go across the lines, and we're going to try and do some recon on some areas around here. So there's a German camp just here. We'll check out this airfield, uh, which is actually where we flew from yesterday. And we'll try and take a picture of Lil. However, it's gonna depend on uh, how much attention we get. There are some hostile planes in the air. We may or may not get targeted by them. Um, but if we don't, we will try and complete all the recon. Let's check out our plane here. So I said in the diary, I'm flying a, a fee, a fighting fee, which is uh, what these FEs were known as colloquially by the pilots who flew them, and probably the mechanics as well. This here, of course, in the game, there is only the FE-2B, but the late era FE-2As were pretty much identical, only they lacked some of the equipment that the FE-2Bs were designed to carry. Anyway, I'm not going to spend too long talking about this plane right now. We'll do more when we're in the actual mission. We're equipped with a camera here. However, I have a feeling this only works in multiplayer. We will try and see if it works. If not, I'm just going to fly over the areas. Uh, we might look out over the side and we'll say our co-pilot, uh, sorry, not co-pilot, observer is going to be the one taking the cameras. We will give it a go though. Let's um, make sure we are all set up correctly here. Okay, we don't need a cockpit light, um, but we will bring a clock and a fuel gauge. Handy things to know. Speaking of fuel, how much have we got? 50, okay, that's loads. Uh, we don't need any of this, don't need any of that. And uh, yeah, we have our Webley Fosbury here, the British service revolver. All right, I think it is time to start the mission. Okay then, here we are on the airfield. We have flown from here before. It is early morning, so we won't have to worry about things getting dark on us like we did last time out. We've got uh, some planes in number six squadron over there, a couple from number five, one of which I'm inside here, with my observer as well. Let's uh, have a look at this aircraft here. It's the first time we've been in it. So I have what looks like a mixture control over there, maybe not. Um, okay, no, we have mixture just here. Um, and for the first time, you can see it better from this angle, we have a throttle. Wow, what a luxury. We have done how many planes now? And this is the first uh, plane with a throttle. Still got our rudders and a bunch of gauges here. So we have the RPM, time of day. It is just after half past six in the morning. So first thing then. Uh, that's telling us the temperature, radiator temperature. I'm not sure. Does this thing have a radiator control? I'm not entirely sure. And uh, air temperature as well, maybe. I'm not particularly sure what these gauges are. That's a compass. That's going to tell us our airspeed. Is this the first plane that's had an airspeed indicator as well? There's an altimeter there. Magneto's on the right. Let's uh, get this thing started. Okay, so we're full rich, I think. Yes, we are. Uh, altitude compensator. Interesting. It's not an altitude throttle. This is the fuel mixture that I'm changing right now. Um, let's see if we can start on no throttle here. Okay, magneto switch is flipped. Uh, I guess we are waiting for the temperature to come up. I'm not entirely sure. Why wouldn't this start? Uh, let's give it a go again. 
Interesting, why won't we start? Maybe I need some more throttle. Hmm. Maybe we're just not up to temperature yet. In which case, how do I bring up the temperature? We need to adjust the radiator controls, maybe. We'll need to look into that one second. Oh. It started. What happened there, exactly? Okay, I turned it off there. There's something moving down here. It's like it's going to be hand cranked there. Okay, so that's come up a little bit. Interesting. I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe we need to... Is this a... Radiator here? What's it say? Advanced retard. I'm not entirely sure. Let's get started. Uh, let's see if we can roll forwards here. Actually, first got to adjust my mixture a bit. RPM is like at nothing. How far do we have to go to... Okay, RPM is climbing a tiny bit. Have us a slightly more. And let's play with the mixture a bit here. I think about there is fine. Alright. Fellas going. Push the aircraft again. Same as the FE2. Uh, sorry, no. We are flying the FE2, aren't we? The Airco DH2. Let's just go to full throttle, I guess. Okay, we are up. What is our airspeed here? Is this miles an hour? Yes, it is. So 50 miles an hour going here. Not that fast. And our RPM is like down on the bottom end of this gauge. I wonder if this is a standard part. And so it's designed to go in aircraft with much more powerful engines. Now the FE-2A had a smaller engine at first, but uh, eventually would get the larger engine of the FE-2B. Let's, um, how do we even read our compass here? Okay, we're going north. Let's make a gradual bank to the right here. Seems to be going very slow. Sorry, altitude. Is this in feet? Must be. Yeah, we can't be 100 metres up already. 100 feet, maybe. No, this is 50 feet. We're more than 10 metres up. Maybe that isn't metres. No, it's got to be feet. Because we're low on the ground. Otherwise, we, this thing could go to 15... Thousand meters. Like, there's no way. We're too low to cross the lines, I think. So, what I'm going to do is just gradually gain altitude and then uh, we will cut back when I'm about to cross the lines. This thing gains altitude so slowly. Look at this. I'm barely at 400 meters here. I'm just gonna go, because otherwise we'll be here all day. So it is in meters, and it only goes up to 1500. I'm full throttle, but it feels like I'm barely moving. But look at these speedos and rev counters. They suggest that the plane has so much more to give, but it is just hopelessly slow. I've messed around with the fuel, the throttle. It's just not working for me. Let's move this guy into the firing line of this sun. 
Is that a plane or a flak up there? It's a flak. There we go. <laughs> That's how suns work. The entire yeah, world just gets darker. Like, we're struggling to get over 400 here. I'm not convinced that this plane is flying correctly. Where was my fuel counter? I'm sure I put one on. But it could be anywhere. Right, let's go across the line. We're gonna go investigate Lil. Also, my bomb site isn't working, so I guess no photos for us. The sun is outrageously bright. Unless this is in thousand feet and not in hundreds of meters. Four thousand feet, what is that? That's like over a thousand meters. And we are high. So maybe I'm higher than I realized here. Like, if I'm coming up on 5,000 feet, that's actually a decent altitude to cross the lines at. I just hadn't even realized. Because we're above... Are we above 500 meters? Difficult to tell. I'm really not a fan of this speed gauge, though. I mean, look at this. Barely visible. I can't imagine going up to a hundred, let alone a hundred and sixty. I'm looking for a little now. There it is. Directly under the sun. You see this massive mast in front of me here. That is for the observer to detach his Lewis gun and reattach it to the top of this post here so he can get a firing arc over the wing behind us and we can shoot up the sewers. That is beyond crazy because he would just stand up on top of the fuselage here. I think I'm going to skip forwards again here. We've been flying for coming up on 30 minutes now. Remind me never to set up a mission where we're flying directly into the sun again. Because it's ridiculously bright. Also remind me never to fly this tub of bolts here. There's Lil down below. There's an aerodrome as well. Where was the German camp? Let's see if we can find it on the map. Between two groups of trees, so it could be right below us here. Yeah, it's just under our nose. Is that it there? Yes it is. Oh my speed went up dramatically there. 
Look at my height now, over 6,000 meters. So I'm at, well, 6,000 feet. So I'm at about 2,000 meters. There's the camp, okay. So let's just say we're getting good recon on that. There's Lil. There is the aerodrome. We flew from that yesterday. Let's see if we can get a bit closer to Lil. There's a German balloon down there, just over the town. Don't know if you can see it. Got the airfield directly below us there. If there were any planes in the area, they seem to have flown off because I'm not seeing them anywhere. Let's go back to our pilot seat. Altitude are we at now? Seven and a half thousand feet. I think it's about time we turn around and come home. I don't see any enemy planes. Right as I say that, in the sun, just ahead of us there, there's a plane. I can't tell if he's coming towards us here. I think he is. Oh, he's coming. We need to... I've lost him in the sun here. A German Eindecker. Let's uh, make a quick turn here. But over a little. There he is, just off our wing there. Lost well, sight of him in the haze there. I don't see him anymore. I'm crossing front lines here as quick as possible. I'm at 2,000 meters, gradually losing altitude, but keeping up this dive here. I'm over 100 miles an hour. You see my RPM, it's up to 1,400. to 110 miles an hour there. I don't want to overstress my engine here, but I have no idea how far these dials can go. Seems like this plane really picks up speed when it goes into even a shallow dive like this one. So we're still above 6,000 feet here. Our airfield is there. Let's just get across the lines. Almost 120 miles an hour now. My mixture is really lean as well. I don't know if you can see, but I get hovering around there. It's 
5,000 feet. I don't want to go below this, really. It's kind of danger territory for crossing the front lines. I am over my own lines now, though. We never were pursued by that aircraft. I thought about engaging him, but the, there's a reason these aircraft were called Fokker Fodder. These uh, FE2s, or the Fees, fighting Fees, were um, better equipped than the B2s. They really didn't stand a chance against the Eindeckers. Still at 110 miles an hour here. RPM. Is that hundreds or thousands? I'm not sure. Maybe it's thousand, because if it was only... Oh, no, I can't do the maths. If it's 1400, that's still, what, 20 times a second. So, I think it's hundreds. Otherwise, it's 200 times a second, that propeller spinning. And there's just no way it would pull together. 125, I think I was just about touching there. Observer's probably getting a bit nervous. Let's see... So we really want to land into the wind. But there's a bunch of trees in the way. Oh no, okay, we can make that work for us. Look at the speed we're going here over the trees. Let's scrub off some of that speed. Coming down, dropping below 100. Crazy to think we were flying at 50 for most of this mission. So I take back what I said about this thing not being able to climb. Climb is just fine, it's just slow as all hell, except when you're in the dive. I've actually uh, lost sight of my airfield here. There it is. Okay, I can see the wind suck. Whoa, we're low. A little bit too low. What's our speed now? I don't want to... I'm really not sure how to land this thing best. Let's carefully reduce our throttle here. Keep up the RPM. Doesn't have a blip switch. Here we go, over the trees. Let's touch down now. Well, we still have speed to pull up if need be. Gradually turn the aircraft. Gradually. And then taxi back over. Alright then, mission complete. A couple of issues we had. We couldn't use the recon camera. I don't want to take off here, we are going 40 miles an hour still. Let's drop our throttle a little bit more. It took us quite a long time to get over there. Seemed to come back a lot faster, but that's probably because I was just scrubbing off all my altitude.
I think for you guys this is going to be quite a short mission because I'm going to have to cut most of it. Nothing really happened. Uh, let's come to a halt just here. Takes a long time to stop this thing. But here we are. Back at base. Mission accomplished. Now I'm actually going to be back with this squadron again. Why is this thing smoking so much? I need to check into radiator controls because I, I, I couldn't see them. I couldn't uh, get them to work. So maybe I haven't got the map correctly. Or maybe something else. Either way, it's over. I think the wind is just blowing just normal amount of smoke into our face here. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow. It won't be with this guy just yet. That's going to be a couple days time. I'm going to be flying with Russians next. Uh, new aircraft coming tomorrow. You can probably guess which one. So if you want to see that, join me then. Thanks for watching.